Reaction number seven is lighting the Bunsen burner. So this serves as training for lighting a Bunsen burner should you ever find yourself needing to light one. So this is the Bunsen burner, the gas, the methane, which is basically natural gas, comes out the top. And we're going to light the gas, but it doesn't burn very well without oxygen. So at the bottom here, there's a little um, opener, opening, adjustable opening that allows oxygen in to, to help the flame, to help the combustion. But to start the Bunsen burner, we want to have that closed. Okay, and once we get it, it, it lit, then we can adjust the amount of oxygen to get the flame that we're looking for. Okay, over here, we have the valve that we turn to let the gas come out. Okay, when this valve is perpendicular to the nozzle, the gas will not be coming out. When it's parallel to the nozzle, it's coming out at full. And then we can adjust the rate of flow by putting it somewhere in between. So we're going to start the Bunsen burner now by turning, opening the valve, not all the way, about halfway. And then we're going to use the sparker, the flint, to generate a spark, which will hopefully ignite the gas. You can see the spark that's created. Okay, there's a little flint inside that rubs on the file to create the spark. Here we go. There we go. That one took a little more work than normal. You can see we have a flame. Okay, and it's a blue flame. Which implies complete combustion. You see any yellow? Yellow implies incomplete combustion. And like I said, we can adjust the oxygen flow. Normally we would do that to get a blue flame, but we already have one, so there's not a lot of need to change this too much. Oh, and then the flame's gone out. But you saw it happen, the combustion